Hi and welcome to the Ecom channel and to this video tutorial on how to connect your Wix site to Google Search Console. If you have Wix, you might already be connected to Google Search Console through the SEO Wix. So how do you find out if you are already connected to Google Search Console? Uh, we go into Wix dashboard and under marketing and SEO we can find SEO tools. Uh, here we can click site verification and at the top here we will see Google Search Console. And if we click on it we can see if we are connected and through which email address. If you see an account here that you aren't familiar with, it's very easy to change. You just click change account and follow the steps. Now we are going to show you the difference by the automatic setup by Wix or the manual one we are about to show you. So this is what a typical Wix setup looks like. Here we have 489 pages on Google and 632 pages that aren't on Google at this moment. The problem with this setup is that we are missing a lot of pages. Let me show you my way of setting it up. Here we have 969 pages on Google and 818 that isn't on Google at this moment. We have asked for these 818 pages to be indexed, so we expect them to be indexed shortly. So let's start by adding and verifying our domain. If you have access to Google Search Console, you open this window. You scroll to the bottom and you click Add Property. If you don't have anything on your Google Search Console yet, you will see this window. So this and this window are both the same and the process is exactly the same no matter which of these you are seeing. There are two options here. We choose the option on the left and write our URL without any URL scheme. When we are done, we click enter or continue. On the next page, we get two options to verify our domain. It's either a TXT or a C name. We are going to show you both, but you don't have to add both. One is more than sufficient. We start with the TXT and we start by copying the TXT value in Google Search Console. Uh, we open Wix. We click Domain and Manage DNS Records. We then scroll down to the TXT section where we click Add Record. We then add the TXT we copied from Search Console in as value. We then hit Save and we go back into Google Search Console and we click Verify the domain. The other way of doing it is using the C name. As I mentioned earlier, you only need one, either the TXT or the C name. To add C name, we click the drop down menu and choose C name. Uh, we then copy the host and we go back into manage DNS records in Wix and we scroll down to C name. We paste the host, we copy it from Google Search Console into host in Wix. We then copy the value from Google Search Console and take that into Wix and paste it in under value. And again, we hit save. We go back into Search Console and click verify domain. So now the domain is verified. Now we just have to tell Wix about your site and where to find all your URLs. We do that by adding sitemaps. And most likely you will already have one sitemap registered. This is sitemap XML. But Wix offers a lot more detailed sitemaps. The example we are using is other pages sitemap. So what we do here is that we copy the URL, uh, including the URL scheme, and we add the sitemap at the bottom. If it gets read like this and say couldn't fetch, it means that it can't find any pages. If you know that you have pages here, Give Google Search Console a few days to figure this out. So we don't have anything under other pages at this moment, but we are going to add that later. So it's not a problem if you already have the XML file ready. As I said, Wix offers a variety of sitemaps. So these are all the sitemaps that Wix are offering. I recommend that you copy the sitemaps that are relevant to your site. I will leave all the sitemaps under info section. If you have anything under indexed in your Google Search Console, I recommend that you watch this video. This video will teach you everything you need to know about managing Google Search Console successfully. If your index site is blank, I still recommend that you watch this video, but maybe save it so that you know what to do when everything is set up. Another important thing in regards to indexing is site speed. 
We have made this video on how to make your Wix site perform as good as possible. I recommend that you also watch that. And very soon our SEO course is coming. If you have signed up to Wix using our link, you will get this course for free. The link is in the description. So I think we end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.